I know it's been a minute since my last video, or like any Impala stuff to be honest, but uh, there's a reason for it. I've been busy and it's seen better days. It's looked better. I have a lot to do now, so we're gonna start on my long list of things to do to this car. Um, first, we're gonna do headlights, because so we're gonna do bulbs here. I got LED bulbs, those are H1s for those headlights and then H11s for the fog lights, and I'll show you those in a second. But in terms of what we're going to be doing to this, I've been having a problem with my uh, audio, or my radio, and I've gotten really good at taking off the fuse box. So that's great. Um, basically, when I did that engine clean, right, I took out the battery, did a whole bunch of stuff, and it still looks relatively nice. Like, for I haven't gone back and touched it up, but you can kind of see it still looks pretty clean, nothing's too dirty. But um, yeah, so basically what happened was, is I went to put the battery back in, and I didn't realize there was some stuff below it, so I was trying to manhandle it in, which don't ever do, don't make that mistake. But yeah, so I did that, and I'm pretty sure I pulled some kind of wire or something somewhere, and anything on my ignition after I turn it off doesn't shut off. So I fixed the battery drain by taking off the uh, radio, the radio fuse, the 20, 20 amp, it'd be right here in that little hole. So it's worked for now, it's just I don't have audio. I don't have music in my car, I don't have blinkers, I don't have anything. So I want to figure that out. That is going to be something that's going to take a while. But if any of you have any idea of what the heck to do for that, I mean, I'm all ears because... I've brought it to multiple places, multiple shops, and they've all been like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. We're not going to touch that. We're not going to do this or that or whatever. So that's its own thing. We'll deal with that another day. But basically, I got LEDs for every light. I think this is the one that went out. And then these could get touched up on. I don't know if you can see that. Or uh, resealed. And then maybe some... Some kind of grommet in here. These ones didn't have that. My other ones did. But we're doing headlights today. Alright, so gloves on so I don't actually touch this. I don't know if that's the case for LED diodes. These little boys. These are for the fog lights, by the way. But I don't know if that's the case for these. Or if it's not. I don't know what you want to believe on the internet. But this said, don't touch it with your fingers. I don't want to screw that up because I need lights. So if you look, these fog light bulbs, they're the same. That is an H11. Um, and honestly, this looks pretty good. Um, build quality wise, and it's got like a bulb on the front. So we'll see how those go. Those will probably be a lot easier than these because basically what you have here is if you look at this, you have a heat sink and a little fan built in and the actual LEDs themselves because I guess they run uh, pretty hot. And then this is, I would assume it's, what do they call it, a ballast? It's either that or it's like a power supply, you know? It's one of the two. Um, I'll say it somewhere on screen. Or if it's not one of the two, then great. But that's that. That's basically all that this is. And then this has to go somewhere. We'll see how that works out and how to do that. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then on the very end of these, you have where you plug them in. And it even says here, I saw these all over like Amazon listings because I guess it's a common problem. No plow, plower. No power, reverse the plugs. Or try reverse the plug over if you like broken English. So that's that. Um, what does that say? LED H1 6000 Kelvin? I don't know. We'll see. 
But yeah, that's that. Um, and I'll get to taking the headlight apart. Okay, it took a while, but I finally got these off. Um, these connectors suck. So I basically just used this top corner here with like, I guess these corners here to pry it off. That That's, that's gonna take a while. You just gotta kind of massage it really to get those off easily. But now those are off, a couple things that you might not know. Uh, there's your fog light, there's your horn. Um, fog lights on the other side, don't have two horns. Kind of cool though. Kind of annoying, probably to a lot of people. But yeah, you can get two, honestly, like, really easy access to them. If you look under here, and you look up, uh, you might be able to see it, yep. It says fog lights, use your manual. Why would I do that? And I can reach perfectly here. I'm grabbing the house. So that might be the way to do those. But I want to look at those and see if this makes any sense. Because I might have to do something weird. The next day. Okay, so we're going to be doing the second part to the headlights. Um, I got them installed, they work, and I can explain or even show you. Um, do I have my tool? Yes, I do. Uh, the reason there's a part two, and I won't be able to show you as much, is because uh, my phone died, so that's fun. I also haven't filmed at my place before, so this will be this will be fun. So you can kind of see. Oh, I was wrong. I'll have to go back into the apartment and grab a seven millimeter. But there you go. You can see the LED, uh, and then zip tie and some rubber there. I'll explain that in a second. I have to grab a seven millimeter. I'll be right back. All right. I have the right thing now. Let's get her going. <laughs> I almost just had a heart attack. I almost did that one instead of that. And I was like, damn, I have to go back in. Let me undo these. Uh, and then you pull this out. You guys have probably done headlights before if you're looking at the LEDs, so you, are, you already, you know. All right, so, you know, I, I don't really care. I'll, I'll clean it. I don't care if I'm setting it on the car, but Basically here, what I did, you can see I, I chiseled out, I, you should use a Dremel. If you have a Dremel, use a Dremel. But this dust cover here obviously doesn't fit the, the LEDs. Um, if You can get some that are in the same shape of the halogen, but like that go below the dust cover. I got these, so I had to poke a hole through it. Now on eBay, I'll throw a picture up now, they make uh, rubber covers or things that extend past to keep these covered. So far, I've cleaned the car too, and this has been fine. Headlights still work and everything, and you know, I there, there's no real issue with it. This is the same on the other side. So what this is, um, I covered. You can see it right there. That's like the power supply on like a laptop or the ballast. I'm not quite sure. I think I said that earlier in part one, but you know. It's the, it's the big bit. Um, you have two spots to plug this into, uh, and I can't really show you. I can kind of show you the cables. So mine were blue and ground, blue and black. Um, you just unplug those from the original halogen if you're putting in LEDs, and that's fairly easy because, um, I mean, ground is on the housing that you put in here. Uh, and then you just pull them out and, and make sure your cables are on the outside um, And because I didn't show this I guess I'll just answer questions if you have them uh, Down below, but honestly like this is just a glove that I zip tied and it works just fine um, What some people do if they have the rubber dust cover if you're gonna order that at the same time They cover this up they cut a little hole uh, Just so you can get the wires out and then they actually just put all of the the bigger bits the ballast power supply thingy that I don't know what it's called into the original and then they just duct tape the crap out of that so if it's gonna be jank I mean might as well go proper jank and that's that's all that there is to it um, 
see the connector there you just shove that down and you put that in that's pretty easy um, see the same thing on the other side same dealio there's as far as fit is concerned it's perfect there's just enough space for them to butt out um, and honestly like that cover might not even be necessary if you wash the car just blast the water that way and it will drip here and follow this line through and go down so that that's that um, I'll show you where the fog lights are those are really easy if you look here you can see there's a uh, there's like a picture icon you saw it just then don't go through the bottom all you have to do is remove the main headlight and if you look you can reach it right there and that's just like any h11 you just rotate from where we're looking um which way would that be counterclockwise just like anything pull it out make sure you don't touch it probably have on some rubber gloves and just bop it right in and it's perfect and that cord is connected to the same part of the uh, wiring harness that connects to the lights I know those are super easy those are way easier um, I'll show a picture of the LED ones that I got for the fogs but LED H11 should be fine I didn't even need to do anything weird like that it just goes right in this is the only hard part um, if you have any questions I'll answer more but you can kind of see what I did I just punched a hole through it ran them out plugged everything in and then covered the important bits of wiring with some rubber and zip ties. Honestly, I think that's probably fine. Uh, I might get a dust cover cap, in which case I'll like I'll put a community post. But but yeah, that's that. Um, I'll throw some pictures, video up of what it looks like at night. Super bright. Uh, really happy with it. Um, and yeah, just really easy. And like I said, I didn't have any problems with it being exposed like that with car wash. Water follows this drainage dealio, goes down there. Um, can you look how far back that is? When I close the hood, it's, it's fine. Just don't spray into the headlight. Just spray on and down. I had no problems. And I'll probably still cover it, but, but yeah, that's that. And here are the pictures.